Hey everybody, it's Mike Portnoy here, and I'm going to play through Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare. Playing on Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare album was uh, really quite an experience. Uh, it was an emotional roller coaster. I mean, if you don't know the backstory, uh, their drummer, Jimmy the Rev Sullivan, passed away right before they were set to begin work on this album. Uh, I guess I was one of his favorite drummers, so um, they gave me a call to come in there and, and uh, finish up the job for him. And we spent a lot of time really nailing it and making sure that his vision was brought to life. And that was pretty much my job for this session. The demo version of this, uh, can you talk a little bit about how close was your take on the record to what he recorded on the demo and how much did you change? Throughout the entire album, I had the Rev's uh, basic blueprints to follow, but because he was doing a demo on an electronic kit, I think he probably didn't develop some of the parts as much as he probably planned on doing. So I kind of had to walk the fine line between honoring his vision, but also taking it to the next level of, of, of a finished product. The foundation was there. All those patterns. and It was all right there. Some of the embellishments I brought into it were uh, some of the octo fills before each of the verses and uh, the, the bell pattern on the ride during the choruses. You know, little minor things like that. But for the most part, it was already there. Single guitar, no harmony. Yeah. So you kept it pretty close. Yeah. What he wrote, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I I played everything that was there. Yeah. It's just a matter of just adding to it. Yeah. But anything that was there, I wanted to, you know, fulfill his, yeah. his vision. You mentioned the Rev had come up with that kind of intro fill. Is that just like hand to foot stuff, or how would you explain the intro part? So the drum patterns on the intro, um, I'm not sure if I'm sticking it the same exact way that the Rev did on the demos, but I'm doing kind of like quads. It's it's almost like a ta, 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 ta. it's a triplet feel, but I'm doing quads within the triplet. So uh, the original demo on the choruses, it was just basically a double bass pattern. And one of the embellishments that I added was that, that pattern on the bell, which is almost like a Neil Peart kind of pattern. This particular track brings back so many memories because, uh, as you probably know, I ended up doing uh, the first half of the Nightmare Tour all throughout 2010 uh, after we had completed work on the album. And I wasn't ever intending on touring with them, but we had such a, a great emotional bonding experience making the record that uh, luckily I was able to at least finish out uh, the rest of that year with shows with them. And this song always brings back memories because this is what we opened the show with. And on that tour, in the Nightmare Tour, the show started with um, a guy like on the top front truss of the, of the stage, uh, walking across the top truss and then literally jumping off. It was quite the spectacle and, and I had never been part of any kind of production like that. It was very theatrical. It was kind of like something like you would have seen Alice Cooper do. Every time I hear this song, it brings back memories of having to play the 
the entire song every night with a guy hanging in front of me and swinging in front of me. And then they would cut him down and then we would carry on with the show uh, after the nightmare was finished. But yeah, crazy, crazy time. Great tour. Great, great time. Uh, great experience. And uh, really had a, an amazing time with those guys. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far and all the other Mike Portnoy content here on the Drumeo channel. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, we actually have an entire Drumeo platform that has tons of exclusive content and drum lessons from all of your favorite drummers. So if you want to check it out, you can try it out for free at the link below, drumeo.com forward slash trial. And with that, let's check out Mike's full playthrough of Nightmare.
So yeah, the Rev was uh, quite the talent. He was really an incredible drummer. I had started listening to Avenged Sevenfold around the City of Evil album, and then the White Album that came after that, the self-titled, and uh, realized what a great, great talent he was. And um, Jimmy was always talking about me in interviews, and you know, God bless him, he was he was so gracious with that, and always cited me as an influence and an inspiration. So yeah, I ended up uh, becoming friends with him. Uh, never met him actually, but we would text each other, email and email each other. And I always thanked him for always speaking so nicely about me in the press and in interviews. And um, yeah, I could, I, you know, when I did the Nightmare album, I really could hear a lot of my style in, in his style. So coming in to do that album and play his parts, which I was already hearing a bit of myself in, was was quite a full circle experience. But um, he was he was also uh, just an incredible musician in general, beyond the drums. And I have so much respect for drummers like that, that step out far beyond the drums and are great writers and could play other instruments. And, and the Rev was, was like that. And, uh, you know, I have all of the original demos for the Nightmare album, and he was singing a lot of the vocal melodies. Uh, so you could tell he was a big, big part of the creative process behind the band, uh, creating riffs and parts and singing vocal melodies. So yeah, uh, I think losing him, Avenged Sevenfold, not only lost an amazing drummer, but they lost an important you know, songwriter and uh, musician within the band. And uh, you know, he was only with us for a very short time, but his talent and uh, you know his his supreme uh, musicianship will live on forever. Mm -hmm.